I heard about it. I didn't yeah, see it. Him out. He said he about it, well, man. she said that he grabbed he her ass. Yeah, it wasn't even him either. But that was the Lord choking him in his ass. They she like really him. choked him, like killed him. She or? No, she didn't kill him. Oh. She just choked him out. I, br I like briefly seen it. I didn't really see it. You know his spirit is fucked up the rest of his life. Get fucked up by a woman. Yeah. <laughs> and he was a bouncer. A bouncer. Yeah. Damn. A bad bitch. For real? Here we go. This is short for you too. It's only second time. I wish I could see a whole bunch of people fall out of the sky. If the Lord gives us power, we're gonna be dropping. Hey, I just seen like a breath. What the fuck? He just fell off the sky. What the fuck? Damn. Let me see this shit. I'm gonna get that on camera. That's, That's a beautiful it. video. Yeah. Hold on, let me get it on the camera. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful video, man. How we do that? That's judgment. Yeah, let's play. <laughs> this could be you. You don't want to listen to the Lord. <laughs> Your ass could just randomly fall out the fucking sky. Let me get one more time for you. Hey, hey, angel will pick your ass up and do that too. What? That could have been an angel. I, did it explain what the fuck happened? No, no. Cause don't nobody. He, Dude can't answer and say this is what happened. <laughs> oh, he gone, ain't he? Yeah. He gone, Y'all see the splatter? I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if that one splatters, but the other one splatters. What the fuck? There's actually two of them do falling, man. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'll let you see it. There's actually two of them, man. I don't know if that one splattered or the other one. One of them splattered, man. How did he just fall? Oh, he hit the car, didn't he? Yeah. He hit the car, yeah. The other one splatters. How the fuck he just fall out the sky? That had to be an angel. Hey, hey. If an eagle hey. could have picked his ass up. You know, the dragon would do when uh, uh, Habakkuk got the <laughs> angel picked him up by the crown of his head and took him to the prison. The feet oh, of Daniel. Shit. Damn, you your know? ass could get snatched up and dropped out the fucking sky. Right. And you already know the angels do be abducting these Edomites, man. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. That's a fact. So nobody, we know. <laughs> But people don't make right. That's when you too. think you see everything. You ain't seen a motherfucker right. fall out of the sky. Yeah, that's a, that's bad, man. Let me find out. He just came out of nowhere. He just came out of nowhere. Wow. Let me find out. Man, the Lord is terrible, bro. Oh, man, terrible. Man, you don't know how. These people, too, they think they know what they're doing tomorrow. Oh, I got an appointment. I got to go to the snow. Your ass could fall out of the sky tomorrow. <laughs> right. You don't know how you don't know when you're the Lord gonna get you, man. And how he gonna get you? I be thinking every day like, how the Lord gonna get me? It's today, today. Every day I'm praying that he come. That's all I know. I'm like, it could be now in a couple seconds. I'm thinking about it. These people, it's not a thought in their mind that the Lord's about to take them out. This might be the spot. Oh, you got a <laughs> your boy came on a building that one. He dropped on a building on that one. This thing will want these big bitches. Ooh, you see the splatter? You see it? Let me get that one for the camera, too. That's it. The camera gonna pick that up. Huh? That's small as hell. Oh, uh, is it? You gotta really watch it, then you'll see a splatter. Because you see the. Oh, bullet. shit! <laughs> Hold on, look at that. Yeah, that. Ooh! Watch out. Ooh! That's it. Let's see if we can get this one on there, too. Boot. This is bootlegged uh, editing. This is. We ain't editing that bullshit in there. Oh. Splatter. Damn, I think I heard that bitch. Splat, splat. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That could be you. That could be you. Damn. You wanna check it out? You wanna watch the splatter? One more time. One more time. <laughs> yeah, that first one was better though. They boy. Yeah, he yeah, came out yeah. of the middle of the sky. Right, right. Out the fucking right. sky. Right. Right. I don't even know what to do after seeing that. <laughs> right. I just pray I'm not next. Shit. Hey. Hey, hey. That put, that put the fear on you. <laughs> Have you seen too, man? Grab me something real quick. You could be out there chilling one day at the park, having a good old family dinner. Goddamn hot come down and 
snatch a baby up and fly off with it. Hey, but look where we are. We're around them this small building. We might get a blessing. Man. Oh, yeah, you might see him. We somebody. might get a blessing, man, to see somebody. somebody just I say, hate my life. You know, it just jumped. Yep. I, man, he's some high as <laughs> For real. Even this is high as hell, man. You know, that's still high. You don't want to fall over that either. Hell no. But imagine that. You got a while to think about it. Man, you, get, you, get, you get fucked up just from about 10 feet. Shit. <laughs> you just better close your eyes and we next. Ooh. I fell out of the uh, a top of a tree when I was a little kid. Ooh. I climbed all the way to the top of that bitch and hit that. It broke. I just. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Damn. Come walk for a week. Yeah. Hey, this is so. Proverbs 1 and 5 says a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and to in the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, that's why. So if somebody comes up and they despise what we're saying, that means they're a fool. Look forward to falling. And that, that's a potium, ain't it? And that one? The fucking pot. No, that's simple ones. That's casolians. Cause so <laughs> That's the Hebrew words. <laughs> Look at your girl's forehead, though. I know, I'm so there for two blocks. What's that shit? No edges? <laughs> yeah, yo, what is that what that's called? No edges? Yeah. Go look that up on, uh, yo. <laughs> Go Google that shit, no edges. See what you find. Look at this nigga, bitch. Bitch's hairline went to the to the back of her fucking, uh, back of her head. So I got a better hairline than her. I'm, cry I'm over here cracking on people's hairlines. <laughs> Imagine that. Hey, uh, hey, you know, man's go bald though. Hey, you know, you go bald from testosterone. Maybe she got te high testosterone levels. A lot of these women do got high testosterone levels these days. Especially the Israelite woman. That is disgusting. So a lot of them take the testosterone pills and shit, don't they? Shots. All these dyke bitches. Shots. Yeah, the shots. You know what? Uh -huh. she, um, I, was, I was watching this dyke bitch, man. You can see she's got, you know, the ones that want to be a man. Yeah. Ugly as fuck from a distance. I got a woman. I got a woman. So she asked me, she asked me something about pain. Well, anyway, I got a woman, man. That bitch was bad as fuck. Yeah. She's bad as hell, man, but ruining her, ruining herself, man. Taking testosterone? Yeah. I don't know if she's taking test or not. She just uh, the dyke bitch that got the, the tight roll on to smash the titties. Oh man, you don't do that you know? to the titties. And to cut the hair for man, man hairstyle. Yeah. But like I said, when I, I hate got that a pointer, I got a pointer and she was bad. I was like, damn. I, was like, I said it myself, my head. Damn. Pretty as fuck, man. They chopped that hair off. Look all stupid. Just like it's talking like, oh, no pain, no gain. Is that what you do when you really make progress? Do you really get to the point that it hurts? That's what she was talking about. Oh, she's trying to hit the weights? Yeah, she's trying to. Oh, shit. Trying to. She was going hard, too. I don't like a big old muscular girl. She was going, man. She, bottom half is straight. The top, like I said, she was covered up. And she, I, you can see she had the tight thing on, too. Shit. You can see the outline in the shirt she had on. But she had the tight thing. And you see the ball, the titties had a, the smash look. You know when they smash, had that. Don't. You can see she had some big ass titties, but they were smashed. Trying to smash some titties. Yeah. And they're trying to lift weights. And what she was lifting was. <laughs> I need to start lifting it. I got, I got lazy the past few months. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow, I'm gonna get it tomorrow. These bitches are weak as fuck. I'm getting weak, shit. I gotta hit them weights, boy. I think they go hard, though. Who's that video you showed me? The bitch trying to lift that weight up. Oh, yeah, you see that video? Which one? Where the bitch was trying to lift the weights. <laughs> she, she, picked, she picked this big ass shit up. It just fell back so, on. Yeah, she got, there's a lot of them. With, she um, got fucked shit up. Shit that going wrong, that goes wrong in the gyms or something like that. There's a whole lot of them video goes. Yeah, up. yeah, videos. Yeah, wrong. That's some funny shit. That's some funny shit. I was watching this one. This dude was trying to do the uh, the leg, the shit with the leg. Right. He, he tried to push the weight. It came back and just snapped his leg in half. Damn. Damn. Bones sticking out. Right. Uh. I saw the dude bench pressing, and it all dropped on him. Oh fuck. Trying to go too hard. Yeah, that's what you need a spotter for, right? <laughs> Fucked him up. Fucked him up. Fuck that. 
That's what's coming in jail tonight. I bet, I bet too. You know? A lot of people end their careers in the jail tonight. They try to go too hard. Trying to lift shit they had no business with. Got no business. You gotta be smart in that shit, man. I don't even care as long as I'm getting a little man, something. I ain't never cared about lifting heavy. I ain't never cared about lifting heavy weight, man. I ain't never worked out that way, man. That's stupid. I've seen too much shit happen. These raggedy bodies can only do so much. I've seen, te I've seen biceps tear. I've seen it like, damn, oh. Damn, shit. Oh. Oh. Tearing just from motherfuckers doing deadlifts, man. The biceps tear. Damn. Tear. Shit, Urban Meyer called some brothers die to explode, man. I believe it. Yeah. Made him keep working out and that, that acid just kept building up in his body. The, 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 the dude was in the interview. He said the dude thigh exploded, man. Whew. Yeah, that college, that program they put to the kids in college, man. You see torture. how big them boys be? It's torture, man. See, the thing, that's why they bitches and get hurt so easy now. They doing too much strength training. They're not really working out the floor. They doing that strength training. You can train to become strong, but your body really ain't strong. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's true, man. You know? And them football players are freakish. Freak, freak, see, freak, see, see, in the 70s and 80s, who the football players? Man? Yeah. They was taking hits. Now the Bay player be laid out. Back then, they was getting right up, weren't they? Getting right the fuck up. Yeah, man. they motherfuckers just sleeping all the time yep, now. Yep, yep, it's common now, man. Yeah, they be like, God damn, yep. get on with the game, drag his ass They're on the They're not training thing. right, man. They're not training right, man. They gotta train, you got actually gotta train like these fighters, these boxers, man. You gotta train like these boxers, man. Boxers train, they, their bodies will be hard, yep. not strong. The strong, the strength gonna come, man. Hey, that's how they did us in the Marine Corps. Oof. They didn't, we didn't use weights and none of that shit. It was all fucking calisthenics and shit. It's calisthenics. That's the best shit. Yeah. Your body becomes hard, man. That strength training, becoming strong. You get hard. Strength training, all it is is you're getting your limbs, your ligaments, and your joints used to lifting the weight. That's all you're doing. But your body's not hard. Look at them football players that be benching them linemen, man, that be benching five, six, seven hundred pounds. Yeah. Look how flabby they are, though. They're not really hard. They're just strength training, man. Getting laid the fuck out. Man, I couldn't believe Rutherford got tackled from behind and he was laid the fuck out. I was like, no, ain't no way. That like me. Ain't no way. I remember seeing Eric Dixon get pounded. That motherfucker, you knew he was, he, everybody knew he was gonna run the ball, man. But that yeah, motherfucker kept getting up here. That, and it, all the, uh, uh, what's his name? Tony Dorsett. Uh, Walter Payton. Them motherfuckers was taking real hits, man. Oh, Walter Payton, shit. Yeah, real that hits, man. man. Walter Dyer, he had to see that. Now you see them. Hey, that's go back to that circle that said that men is like women now. Yup, yup. Cause you know, see, the, the NFL becomes some fag shit. Fucking strength. You can't even, you can't even sack the quarterback no more. Hell no. You gotta, you can't put your weight on it. You can't fall right, you can't hit right. You, you got to that's, that's the joy of hitting that muscle quarterback, man, is when you're going down with it. Man. You can't do that no more. Right, right. That's some bullshit. Fag man. National fag man. They can still hit him in college, though. NFL, the National fag man. They call that shit a boss. Targeting. That's that target. <laughs> can't go helmet to helmet. Targeting. Tar I thought you were supposed to target him. The NFL, the National fag man. Hey, the NBA's on some faggot shit too. No hand checking, no physical. Scores is like 140. Oh, Every game is like in the 140, 130, 140. So I'm about what that Steve Mulberry doing. Damn. What's his name for Golden State? Are you talking about? Uh, well, everybody throwing up threes now, like it's candy. Man. Steph Curry. Yeah, fucking candy. It look, it look like one of BJ Armstrong would have shut him down. Man. So. That's good. Like, you go yeah, one check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. They claim to be a Christian. You know that? They talk about always oh, saying prayers in the chapel before the game. And... Yeah, yeah, he's trying to be a hardcore Christian. Wow. <laughs> Steph Curry. I hate that shit, man. I fucking hate the NBA. I ain't watched the NBA game in years. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. Well, the, well, when LeBron won it for Cleveland, I watched that last yeah. game. I did watch that game. I ain't gonna lie, I be checking out the Lakers. You got me. I, I, I ain't seen one game yet. They doing terrible morning. They just got above 500. Wow. They on a streak, like a four-game streak. Why don't you win it all? 
Probably. <laughs> Yeah, that's fake-ass shit. That, no, that's the most crookedest of all the league. Yeah, NBA. NBA is crooked yeah. as all hell. They get everything with them free throws. Richard Pryor was watching the, uh, the Celtics play in the 76ers. He said, oh, that ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, the movie, in the movie Bustin' Loose. I, oh, they, that ain't real. And how the fuck did Will Chamberlain that win it every year? The book, The Fix Us In, is about the NBA. Yep. That's what, that, that your boy that. Oh. That's what I've been trying to order. What, the fix is Yeah, in? I gotta I gotta remember. The fix is in? Yeah. I seen your boy, he's on Alex Jones, I forget his name. The Eat him like that, eat him like that. Yeah. But they had uh <coughs> that that NBA referee, uh Tim Donahue. He actually went to prison and got caught throwing games. And Did then he prison? Yeah. He oh, put he, I think he out now, but he spilled the beans and he said he said that the uh the championship that the Cavs didn't win against Golden State was fixed. He said, go watch it. They suspended Draymond Green. He, he missed the game. And a lot of shit went down for the Cavs to win that series. You know what I'm saying? He said, all that shit's fixed. And here's a ref. I think he know what he's talking about, you know? But all these sports is fixed. You watch that fake-ass college football. Refs be rigging out the hell out of these games. And you wonder why, oh, how come they ain't called pass interference? This says this about the book, The Fix Is In. A showbiz manipulation of the NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, and NASCAR. And I knew NASCAR was oh, fixed. Oh, gotta be. Yeah, I knew it because I saw, oh, man, it was so obvious. It was so obvious, man. I can't watch that bullshit anyway. I'm going to watch cars drive around in circles. I was just actually, I was I just, like hearing that sound. I was just watching uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. was on, uh, he was just on Joe Rogan's podcast. I just watched a full one race yesterday with Lewis Hamilton. Oh, yeah? I used to be heavy into NASCAR. Formula One is the shit, man. They go around all the time. Yeah, that's more interesting. Mm -hmm. that, that, that fucking, that NASCAR shit get this. I'm this, man. That what, that fixes in? Yeah. 2014. Uh, that, was a good book. that should have been out for a minute, ain't it? Um, I wonder if he updated it. Save that. Who's a real one? Brian or something wrote it? I just uh, popped in my head. Um, it says, Please come on. Please. It's a boy. There's some sports fanatics. Hey, you know, that's all this city too care about is Ohio State football. That whole life revolves around sports, bro. And you know, the sports, if you if you can't, if you stay up on sports, you ain't got no free time. That shit takes your whole free time. One NFL game takes, what, four hours? That shit be long. That shit too damn long, bro. Definitely over three hours. I, I I can't fuck with it. I watched the second half. That shit takes too long. Well, let me go to Witch. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, you know the and the word entertainment means, right? When you look the word entertain. Yeah, we looked it up before. It means to be tied down. So they tie these fools down with all the Netflix and the TV shows and sports. You know, most people spend their entire life just staring at a screen, sitting in a chair, not doing nothing. That's really their whole existence, staring at a screen. Brian Tui. Yeah, Brian Tui or something. Yeah. yeah. It's the author of the Fix is in. The show gives me an emulation of the sports. They had a large game. Sports gambling, game fixing. Oh, you, you know. That gambling. You know, gambling's legal uh, nationwide now, right? No. Sports gambling is now legal nationwide. So you know shit really getting fixed now. Well, he was insider too. Gary Fixing and the FBI. He has been published in Sports Illustrated, High School Sports Thursday and the Well if they stated that when they decided the bus open. He was open? He was on the bus like this is that crazy ass thing. Motherfuckers is dumb, man. Damn. These motherfuckers. These niggas are spooky. Niggas are spooky. Spooky. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. What does it say? Use by read something, I think. Yeah, it keeps fucking directing me uh, to the places, man. I'm trying to read about this shit. I had a good point, too, man. I forgot it. 
Oh yeah, that sports gambling. It's just legal nationwide. And you see the Raiders, and they about to move to Las Vegas. Oh, this is an actual. He got videos on YouTube. Oh, oh. yeah, I, I watched a couple of them. Damn, he's on all kinds. He's done a lot of interviews and shit. Right. I was showing. I save this too. I got a, this kid I know, my little nephew, but he's uh, playing college football. He got a scholarship, and I, and I I showed him that book. I was like, you watch. They going some. This shit is fixed. And he's like, I can believe that. And he he's playing college football right now. And he said all the athletes are all getting paid, too. It's all them football players. He said he chose the college he chose because they paid him the most. That's just all fixed, man. These people put too much faith. This came out in 2001. Oh, that book? Yeah. I think he uh, got some updates in it, though, ain't it? Ice did an update on uh, 2014. Sports gambling. They say more money's made in sports gambling than ticket sales and, and merchandise combined. You know that? More money's made off gambling. Oh, yeah, that's all Because why do you think sports was invented? To have something to gamble on. Now, that's why how boxing started. You know that's how... Boxing started, everybody is uh, putting up bets and shit. Yeah, they say one of the original Major League Baseball's championship. 1919 World Series. They got they got caught throwing that shit. That was one of yeah. that was the Cincinnati Reds first championship. What they call it the championship for baseball or World Series? World Series. Right. Yep. That was versus the Cincinnati Reds versus the Chicago White Sox. So, really so that's a proven history that motherfuckers is fixing everything. And they've been told you the boxing was fake. Oh, now these people that don't want to hear it, that the UFC is fake. And if some of the UFC fights be looking, or, uh, they be looking fake as hell, man. No, they do it to the judges. The judges be like, giving yeah. the scores. The motherfucker, I'm getting, his, I'm getting his ass with the judges still be around. Yeah. That's some crooked shit. Sometimes too, they'll, they'll go down easy too. A lot of times they go after the judges. Yep. yep. I've seen it. They going after the judges. You know, people like to make fun of pro wrestling because that's fake. At least they admit it. Shit. Everybody knows talking shit to me. Yo, he's sitting there. He's talking shit like motherfucker. You already know I was one of the baddest fighters you ever seen. I'm like, wait a minute, what about the fight that knocked out the ring? Who? <laughs> oh. My brother. Oh. Uh. He actually got knocked out of the ring or something. Oh, he did? Oh, shit. I'm like, wow. I ain't never fought like that. My mom was like, not many of you. Did he use the box? Huh? Use the box? I still remember that shit. Hell, knocked right out the ring. Hey. He was against the ropes. Dude was just working. He just, bam, knocked him out of the ring. He hit his side of my head. Sodomite. Sodomite. So boxes sound fun though. I don't know he about that. He was a beast though. He was a monster. When he started chasing them bitches in California, man, doing that cocaine and shit, that's when he started falling off. Man, that yeah, cocaine it gets you. Yeah, that cocaine is a hell of a drug. That shit just rips apart your whole body. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. It's not good for you. That's good. So you gotta shut down? Yeah, we, we, can, we can go a little bit. Oh, are we good? It's already five. Th we've been out here for a few hours. Yeah, we out here talking about sports. That's, hey, that's just some real shit, though. This whole video, the sports video. All right. Hey, because, you know, uh, the sports is part of the keeping people asleep, though. You know? Because they become entertained. and they. You know a sports fan? Actually, when you look up the word fan... A sports fan, like a fanatic, it actually comes from the Latin word phantom, which means temple. Because actually, you know, that sports, that's part of their religion. Like, you know, back in the ancient Rome, they had something called the bread and circus. But they were holding gladiatorial games, and they'd always honor it, you know, in the name of Jupiter or whatever, one of their gods. And that's why all the Super Bowls are what? All the Super Bowls, they number them yeah, with Roman numerals. You notice that? Why do you use wrong? Can't nobody read that shit. Well, I, I can read it. These people can't. 
gladiator games. Yeah, it's gladiator. They even call it a gladiator sport. And they all hold them in the uh, stadiums, coliseums. This is 1 Corinthians 13 and 10. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part, somebody still his bike. <laughs> then that which is in part shall be done away with. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Right, that's all these people talk about. You know, like the knowledge and wisdom. Like we have, we watch a little sports, but have you, these people's conversations, the only thing they talk about is sports. Now, if I, when you see LeBron, oh shit, uh, you ain't see motherfucking uh, KD. Oh, you see D Rose. You know, that's all they talk about. Talking about Floyd Mayweather, UFC, this and that. They experts on sports. They know everything about the lives of an athlete. They know what college he went to. I mean, they, they'll know the whole goddamn league, bro. They like, you gotta get a job at ESPN, bro. Like, you know too much. You know what I'm saying? But we keep our mind, minds filled with the knowledge, you know, the scriptures. Scriptures, we know what history, we study. These people ain't, you can see they got the brain capacity to memorize a lot of shit, right? They can memorize all that sports shit. Waste of, waste of bits, man. Yeah, wasted, yeah, y'all wasting all terabytes on that shit. <laughs> y'all could have put that brain power to good use, but you're wasting your brain. Huh? Cause really, sports is worthless. What is that? That's not even real, is it? It's just a game. It doesn't even mean nothing in the real world. Unless you bet money on it. Here you go. Go ahead. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 20. Brother, be not children in understanding. Howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. Yeah, in understanding be men. Because like I said, the only study they got, the only knowledge these fools got out here is, is knowledge about sports. Oh, about they know who produced what rap album or who directed what movie and that's knowledge that's like real legit knowledge to them it's all meaningless knowledge it don't even mean nothing it don't have no no bearing on reality well the devil knows these motherfuckers so he feed them what they want like he said that's why it's called entertainment to tie your ass down here they give them every day you hear about shit Devil Edomite, Prince Harry, and uh, what's his, that bitch he married now? Uh, I don't forgot the bitch. Right, right. The it, Jew bitch. It's still on the news, man. It still be all over y'all Yahoo. Mark, no, uh, what's that whole his name? Fuck, you got me, bro. That tear, that tear. I was just talking about the bitch. Harry, is it Harry? Her, her dad's a fake Jew. Yeah. I can't remember. Her the dad's an Edomite. I can't remember. They the try name. to say she's mixed. Shit, that's a bitch. Because her mom's black. Tear. Her dad's a fucking Edomite. That's a fucking tear. Damn, what is that bitch's name? I gotta find out I now. forgot the bitch's name. <laughs> she looking evil and demonic too. Yeah, she got a foul spirit. Harry, Harry probably doing some weird shit to that bitch. She, she doing, doing some, some weird shit, shit to him. Her husband, I'm like, yeah, I gotta correct myself. Yeah, Harry is a big old weirdo here. They're probably not even really married. That's just all set up. That's just for the public consumption. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Queen Elizabeth's probably blowing with horses. I remember people were taking off uh, work. Watch that shit. Oh yeah, they act like and here it is America supposed to be against kings and royalty, but they love the royal family in England. See deep down in their spirit they know you're supposed to have kings and shit, you know? Megan Markle. Yeah, that's it. Megan Merkel. <laughs> Merkel. Bitch look like a Merk. <laughs> Merkel. Yeah, she's got a foul spirit. That probably come from Mercury. You give it to him, you know? Or what yeah. else they give they always feel thin like Yahoo News and all this shit with you. Celebrity business, man. Yeah. They always up in people's business. That's why TMZ do so good. Right. TMZ successful. All they do is stalking celebrities. People obsessed with the Kardashians and shit. Like I didn't know who the fuck the Kardashians is. Like why y'all keep talking about these people? Where they come from? Yeah, what have you done? Just have fat asses? I mean, Six that's video. Fake, fake asses. Yeah, fake asses. Like what fake have y'all done? <laughs> what have you contributed to society? What great deeds have you done? Being just, hoes. They've been hoes, so yeah, they're, they they deserve to be honored yeah. for being hoes. What kind of dumbass shit is that? Good is evil and evil is good. That shit is fucking mental retardation. 
The boy Kanye was married to one of them, right? Still is. I heard she about to leave his ass. They have babies and everything. But that's why he, he, you know, you see Kanye came against Trump now. Sure did. He's like, I'm done with politics. I bet that Kardashian bit straight to leave him. She's like, you better come out against him. You can't have no more of this pussy. They got Kanye all messed up. He, he, he's, he, they got him fucked up in the head. He's worse than your boy out here. He's a Muslim Rastafari. That nigga was a Muslim. A mu <laughs> that's a fucked up combination. That's like, bro, that's like putting ketchup in cereal or something, you know? Put some hot sauce in cereal. That shit don't go together. <laughs> Just think of some nasty food combinations. Skittles on pizza, yeah. Hey, it's a, that's like some Ninja Turtle pizza. Yeah. Psalms 11 and 8. I'm talking about because the, the whores are fucking exalted. Like you said, the Kardashians. Who the fuck? Why the hell are they famous? Yeah, what have they done? Yeah. It's Psalms 11 and 8. The wicked man, it's like the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Yeah, yeah. Just read that again. That's a word. Read that description number. Psalms 11 and 8. 11 and 8. 12 and 8. 12 and 8. It says the wicked walk. Fucking asshole. It says the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Damn, the vilest, it said the vilest, right? Yeah. The vilest men out here is the ones that get exalted. Like, look at all the rappers. You see the most famous people in the world are fucking degenerates, bro. Like, uh, little Uzi Vert. You see that? He's a weirdo. A fucking weirdo. Uh, what's your boy? The little Yachty talks like he's got nut in his mouth. The Kardashians, they exalted. Because they, oh, they have contributed nut to the world. Did they cure cancer? Why are they so popular? But did they invent something? I mean, what did they do? Did they liberate the slaves? I mean, no, they had, they were whores. And then when they got your boy, what, what the Kardashians, what's his name? Ooh. Uh, Here you go. The athlete. What was that dude who turned into a tranny? I don't forgot. What yeah, you got? This is Shabbat yeah, 19 and 8. Whether it be friend or foe, talk not of other men's lives. And that's what social media. Uh, yeah, that's uh, all it is. News. All that. All every fucking media outlet of this Always. devil rule is of other men's lives. Yeah, God forbid one of us became famous or something. Uh, and the people always worried about who you fucking, you know? They're trying to find out who you fucking and who you dating or whatever. You, you won't be able to have, you won't be able to get a moment's rest. You be out there trying to go out to dinner or go somewhere, people harassing you. Let me get an autograph, I love you. Ain't none of your fucking business. Ain't fucking yeah, it ain't your fucking period. business. Period, period. With anything our brother does. Yeah, actually I was, I was watching some YouTube video today and I made a comment on the video. There's somebody, somebody came and replied and said, uh, I'll bet this, he's married to a Yiddish bitch. And I told him, I was like, that's none of your business who he's fucking. You know? If a motherfucker wanna fuck a Jew bitch, you can fuck a Jew bitch. Fuck, fuck, you fuck, you want. fuck who the fuck you wanna fuck. Ain't nothing worse than a man worried about who someone else is fucking. It says, and if thou canst without offense reveal them not, for he heard and observed thee, and when time cometh, he will hate thee. If thou hast heard a word, let it die with thee. And be bold, it will not curse thee. A fool travelleth with a word as a woman in labor of a child. As an arrow that sticketh in a man's thigh, so is a word within a fool's belly. Yeah, these people's words. Hey, that's why when these people, when these fools come out here and they try to speak some wisdom or something, they just fail. Or you try to give them some wisdom. It's like you actually just shot them with, with an arrow right through their gut. Gossip, these men ain't gonna gossip and fools. And what's that one fool scripture? It said uh, a fool is like a broken cistern that can hold no water. Right. So as you pour it in there, it just fall right out. It's like when you watch one of the cartoons, you know what, like uh, the cartoon character got shot a bunch of times, and then he takes a drink of water and water starts pouring out. That's how these fools are. You try, you give them a little bit of knowledge, and it, it come right back out. They don't stay in there. In one ear, out the other, man. Well, you got respect. How you doing? 
Oh yeah, what's good with you? We might get up out of here. You got any questions, brother? Yeah, we out here teaching the Bible. We been out here for a minute. We about to head out, but you know what I'm we got the truth. America's about to be destroyed. <laughs> Soon they gonna uh, implant. Where's that mark of the beast sign at? Let me get that. You know about the mark of the beast? This is what's coming soon right here. Soon they're going to start implanting everybody with these microchips right here. Soon they're going to be bringing this cash to society. You ain't going to be able to buy nothing. There ain't going to be no more cash, no paper money. Soon it's going to be all digital. They're already pushing it. Now people are already paying for everything with a phone. Soon everybody going to get the chip. There was just a story in the paper today. Or yes, said the paper. They ain't got papers no more. There was a story in the news, uh, what, today, yesterday? You seen it, right? Yeah, but Fox News. Yeah, it was Fox News. That was Fox News, wasn't it? And then the Guardian, all of them was reporting on it. But how in the UK, there's this one company that has about 400,000 employees. Yeah. It's about to it chip all their employees. Right, right. So it's going to be soon, it's going to be mandatory to get a chip, to even get a job, to get a paycheck, to pay rent, to pay your bills. You're going to have to have that chip. Just like the scripture said, uh, that no man might buy or sell say he had that mark or the name of the beast. And that's that microchip. So you won't be able to buy or sell nothing without that chip. Trump is doing a very good job to help bring that in. By causing these trade wars. He's making enemies with people he trade with. He's making enemies with people the country trade with. They don't know. All them exports and imports, everything is going to stop. Right? Especially when World War III kicks off full fledged. Ain't going to be no cargo ships going back and forth. Hell so these, these store shelves, Walmart, Kroger's, Walt Myers, all these motherfuckers gonna end up empty because this trade war is gonna lead to it, you know? And it's gonna be the whole country, man, you know? Whew. The whole country. And it's the Lord's anger, man. It's the Lord's anger. He's gonna try everybody, but it's only the majority of the people that's gonna line up and get that get that yeah, chip, because right? they're gonna get the stomachs growling. Yep. You know what? The funny thing is, the Bible is a warning. It gave, gives you, it's a book, it war, it, it's, it's given to you as a warning, as an example of what happened in the past and what's going to come, right? In the book of Matthew 24, it tells you in those days, he said, don't, uh, woe unto those that give suck in those days. People are yep. still having babies, man, you know? And when this country's going to get shut down, how are you going to feed these babies? You're not. They can these babies going to end up food themselves. They can barely feed their own kids right you know now. What I mean? Right. They got to get the assistance. Dependence, right. Yeah, assistance. Depending on the people, depending on the government, man. Woe unto them that get suck in those days. These motherfuckers going to line up and they're going to be eating each other's babies. And the Bible got examples of that, how Jake like eating each other's babies, man. When they get shit get rough, you know, they'll do anything. You know, the Bible also says that wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. It, these women going to do anything possible to survive. So they're going to see trading each other's babies. We eat yours today and we can eat mine tomorrow. And this is coming. That was in the script. Cannibalism. The Bible talks about cannibalism, man. Right? When our people, our people already been through this madness before. The time of Jacob's trouble. Got no five you know, The time of Jacob's trouble. But well, anyway, we out here warning the people what's coming. We're prophesying. And we hate, we're praying for this thing to happen now. Hell yeah. Huh? Well, we Hebrew Israelites. The Israelites. Well, well the real Christians is the Israelites. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you read the Bible, it said, uh, you, you you familiar with the New Testament? Because it said they was called Christians first in Antioch, which was, uh, when, because Christian was just a nickname that they put on the Israelites to believe in the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? Because you read, uh, let me read my Bible. Right Christians. Because <laughs> the Lord said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let me get it real quick. Matthew uh, 15 and 24. Says, but he answered, this is red letters. You know what that means. That's the Lord himself speaking. The one they call Jesus. And his name ain't Jesus. Because you know he's a Hebrew Israelite. And Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shai. And you know the Hebrew script. Jesus. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's the Lord's people, the Israelites. You know the 
the you know the so-called Christians let's say Jesus loved everybody, came to save all nations, but that's not in the scriptures. The scriptures clearly say he came for Israel, and so the real Christians is the Israelites. We're commanded, we're commanded to get out here to, to bring in the elect of Israel, yep. which you're an Israelite. We know through the Spirit you're an yep. Israelite. Right, like this image, you probably was looking at this. Because the Lord is not a white man either. According to the scriptures, the Lord is a dark-skinned man. You know what I'm saying? Because this right here is actually uh, based upon a real man that lived, uh, Cesare Borgia, who was the son of the Pope Alexander the Sixth back in, what, 1492. So this is a false image. The Lord, the scriptures say the Lord is a black man. You ever heard that before? Because if you read the scriptures, it clearly tell you the Israelites was dark-skinned people and the Lord is a black man. He didn't have long hair either. We was just going into that earlier. About, about, yeah, about how the scriptures tell you. The scriptures tell you it's a shame for a man to have long hair. I mean, that, that's in the New Testament. But they still throw that image up, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we've been out here for But hit us up on, uh, we on YouTube. You wanna watch some videos. Uh, Woe unto the wicked, if you can remember that. Woe unto the wicked. Um, you can follow on Twitter, uh, Kings of the Earth. Yeah, Kings of the Earth on Twitter. All the videos get posted up on there. That's probably easier to remember. Woe unto the wicked, Kings of the Earth. Lord, when we got here on Mondays. Every Monday, y'all be out here? Yeah. Every Monday. Lord willing, unless the Lord Jack is up, he'll do something to us later. And you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Well, that time is coming where he can pull us up off the streets. Yeah, yeah. But until then, we're gonna continue to come out here every Monday at the same time. Well, that's why I said Lord willing. But know? that day is coming quickly, rapidly, where he's literally gonna pull us up off these streets, man. Because when all hell breaks loose, ain't nobody gonna be out here teaching, man. It's People important. out here killing each other, trying to survive. Yep. When you're gonna see helicopters and you're gonna be selling all kind of uh, jets, you're gonna see, see foreign troops walking the streets, killing our people, man. We ain't gonna be out here standing stiffly. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I ain't gonna be none of that, man. I'm just to tell you that famine, a famine of the word is coming. And it says not a famine of bread and water, a famine of this word being pushed out, you know? It's according to the scripture. Where is that? Where is that? Um, Amos. Is it Amos? I think, yeah. Go ahead, get it. Eight. Oh, before you get that, I'm going to get the scripture real quick, though. Because well, actually, according to the Bible, this was the so-called Christian. They don't do this. They don't come out here and teach like we do. Because actually, this is how it's supposed to This is church. You got it? We was commanded to teach on the on the highways and byways. I'm going to get that scripture right quick. Uh, I got it right here. What you I got the Amos. Oh, real okay. quick. This is this is phase one, but that's phase two. Okay. Uh, Matthew uh, 22 and 9. That's what the Lord commanded us. He said, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. So we supposed to be out here bidding brothers to the marriage. So we was commanded to come out here on the streets and teach. You know, I mean, a lot of people are scared to do it. You know what I mean? They are, they're ashamed of the Lord. They, they're afraid what people think about them. We don't give a fuck what people think. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come out here all boldness. This is Amos 8 and 11 says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of Yahweh, which is the Most High's name. So they already do that on YouTube. They've been deleting our channels like crazy. You know what I'm saying? We just had two channels deleted. Over the years, we done had like 50 channels deleted. But soon, they, well, they're going to lock it down on the internet because they're going to say it's hate speech. Y'all preaching hate speech. And soon, they might make it illegal for us to come out here and teach on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Back in the, in the ancient Roman Empire, they was chopping our heads off for teaching the word. You know, there ain't nothing new under the sun. Get it while it's hot. Yep, get it while it's hot. You don't want no cold meal. You got to get that hot meal. Because that day of repentance is closing, is pretty much what the scripture is saying. Yep. You know, repent from doing your wickedness. Whatever our wickedness we all be doing, we're out here to turn you away from it to come into the truth. Because the Lord is coming to say Hebrew Israelites. He ain't coming out here to say motherfuckers that's calling each other niggas still, you know? Motherfuckers still in their state of mind calling each other black or African American or whatever fucking byword these stupid ass people up under, man. These stupid ass people call themselves all kind of shit, man. Stupid ass people. 
So he's coming to save Hebrew Israelites. And that's the ones he's going to save. They already going to know. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. You know? He says, uh, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. And that's why we come out here continuously, the same spot, week after week. Continue. We don't take days off. We got to do this work. We got to do this work. So when it's time come, these wicked motherfuckers ain't give a fuck about the truth. When the time comes, they're going to be out here looking for it because we're known to be right here. It ain't just us. There's other brothers in other cities, too. Yeah, Doing all over, exact, all over the world. exact same thing, man. We got brothers all over right. the world, literally all over the world. In England. Wow. So, so when that famine starts, they're going to come look. Rick, oh, they gonna, I seen them on campus. I saw them downtown. And fine. we ain't going to be nowhere in sight, man, because the Lord, he closed that door. Just that, like the spirit to the spirit of Noah. That when Noah, the, the, you know, by Noah's Ark, when the Lord shut the door. It wasn't Noah that pulled that thing and shut that door. Nah. It was the Lord that actually sealed that ship. The same thing is going to happen these last days. But you know, seal. that's how Jake is, though. He don't want to get right till it's too late. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or when he's in, don't, in trouble. Yeah, nobody wants to call on the most high until they're in trouble. Right. All of a sudden, oh, they got locked up. Now they praying. Now they, they look. Oh, they you know got know a saying? bomb on their hand when they're behind bars. And the Lord says, what, seek me early? What's that? What's that? Clean the ass? You know? That's right. Seek me early. Hey, like you say, man, get it while it gets good. There's so much shit happening in the world, man, that's, that's, shut, that's telling you that something's coming down the pipe. Here, the American troops are surrounding Russia, yep. China. They're surrounding them. They're getting ready for uh, They're surrounding Iran. They're getting ready for that preemptive attack, you know, which is going to trigger that World War III, you know? That's world beautiful, war man. Get the description say, uh, you know the problem. What you mean about it? You about to read something? I just think it's a scripture because no, America, America finna be destroyed. Right. When you know the prophecies in the Bible, the, the America gonna get nuked. The war of Armageddon. Yeah, the war of Armageddon. And we know that's coming. You know, Russia got more nukes than the rest of the world combined. They gonna shoot all them nukes right here on America. They gonna use it. You know what I'm saying? They, they didn't build all the missiles. They done spent, what, trillions of dollars on missiles. They ain't, they ain't gonna waste that money. They gonna use it. The scripture says, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It's all through the scripture. Ooh! This place is done, man. Like we said, we're bringing the elect, only the, only the elect to get delivered. We're bringing them in, just the elect, which is a small amount of number, man. Not everybody. <clears throat> and that's what we're getting delivered up out of that fire. Shit, I want to pass me a missile. I don't want to, you know? I ain't trying to eat missiles. I want to get delivered. Shit. Like the scripture, the revelation oh, tells you how the Lord coming yeah. in clouds, man. That, coming that way. He's coming from that way. <laughs> I'm sick with them, them chariots. I want to get lifted up out of here. Man. You know about them chariots? UFOs. UFOs. That's what the clouds, the Bible referred to them as chariots or ch clouds. Clouds, chariots. You know, they didn't use the term UFO back then. It's like that old song, uh, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swings well, or what is it? What is that talking about? You know what I'm saying? It's talking about them chariots. What else swings low? Yep. They come with them, swing it down low. To, Beam me up, beam me up, Scotty. There's another one that says, Sweet Jesus is driving it. Oh, that's a, uh, that old song goes, uh, Shelby. You ever heard that old song? Shelby coming around the mountain when right, she comes. Right. The original lyrics, when you look it up, it says, King Jesus. Jesus ain't his real name, it's your house side, but you know, Jesus. It's that, it's that King Jesus, he'll be riding them chariots when he comes. I mean, because the scriptures tell you that over and over. When the Lord returned to the earth, he's coming the same way he left. You read in Acts, the first chapter, and tell you the Lord was talking to the disciples. And after he's done talking, it said that he was, he went up into the sky and was received by a cloud. He ascended into the heavens. And he said he's coming back the same way he left. What you got? Oh, it's very simple, right? Yeah, Revelations 1 and 7, I think you read this. Yeah, that's all. That's my favorite scripture. So. Revelations 1 and 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. This is talking about the Lord, the one they call Jesus. He said, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Go ahead. And every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see him. Because when he come out of the sky with that fathership, there ain't no mothership, it's the fathership. Everybody going to see it. And it's going to be gigantic. It's going to be legions of angels with him. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him. All kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Oh, and they say that all kindreds going well because of him. And they say everybody's going to be happy and glad. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord come to bring destruction. He, he, like the brother said, he only coming to save our small remnant. 
It ain't coming. Most people gonna die. What's that, Amos? Uh, Check it out. The scripture says, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. This is the curse. That's gonna be beautiful, man. They gonna come, man, they gonna come, they come to terrorize. Terrorize. You ever seen, you ever seen a so-called UFO before? You probably seen it just now. You probably seen it. Seen it. You going in that mind, oh, that's a UFO. You, that's why the scriptures tell you, when you at nighttime and they look up, man, look at the stars and stuff, you'll see some crazy stuff. You look at it in them heavens, man. It was a couple months ago, even CNN, they had a thing when they said, they, they said the government was hiding, they could like spend like millions of dollars trying to hide the proof of uh, UFOs. Yeah. So UFOs ain't no conspiracy no more. You got videos on it, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of videos, uh, man. Uh, there, was a, there was a video where they was live streaming an astronaut in, uh, in the outer space or whatever the fuck. And it was a there was a chariot Big coming past. Ship. Yeah, oh, that's why the other one. Uh, oh, okay. He was on a thing. He's like he had like a little face uh, camera or whatever. He tried to like cover it. Seen it. He tried to cover the camera, to let it go past. You know what I'm saying? It's live. You can't kiss all that. Yeah, live stream. Remember the one where the the, 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 uh, the camera was on the, uh, the space station, the giant that shadow. That was a giant one. Yeah. A giant shadow. <laughs> that was that big one right what there, the boy. I seen the chariots. I see. Whew. No, this this, is, now, now, now that you heard that, just look at the sky. You're going to see it. This is Luke 21 and 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. Yeah, then look up. And lift up your hands before your redemption draweth nigh. Whoa. That's how we're going to get saved, man. That sounds crazy to people, you so know. So the majority of people are going to be like with their assault weapons and... Raggedy ass nine. It's like aliens. It's aliens. Right, because they watching the shit like Will Smith movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, the UFO movies, and they got them thinking that these aliens, the, the, the angels are aliens, lizards and shit. Yeah. When them, them <laughs> UFOs like are the actual angels of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, the majority of people are going to be fighting against them, man. And while World War III is going on, those soldiers are going to turn and fight against them. Yep. And that's really what's going to bring those missiles here. Because when the Lord show up, when, while World War III showing was popping off, they, they gonna shoot, they gonna push all them buttons. Cause a lot of them ICBM missiles is meant for the Lord. They yeah. plan on killing him when he comes. Oh, it, let me just get that. That's man. where that war in heaven in Revelation 12 is talking about. Let me just get that. There's gonna be a war in heaven between Satan and the angels. Satan, Satan is the uh, the Roman Empire. This is America. It's like it's funny because they show you that show, they show you the truth in like these shows and movies. Cause they got the, uh, the the show. I never watched it, but the show uh, the Arrow. Or whatever it's on Netflix, you know, the superhero era or whatever. They said, uh, Green like, Arrow, yeah, I guess it's like some aliens coming invading. And they said, one of the dudes said, uh, because it was like some writing or some shit. And he's like, Yeah, this is, this is ancient Hebrew. Oh, bro, yeah, it's like, so like, that's that tell you, it, it's telling you that the that, that that's the talk. Damn, that's the talk what is that? I gotta see that. Yeah, yeah it's not like Green Arrow today. It's just called Arrow or Green Arrow. I think it's called, I think it's called the Arrow or something like that. What's all, what, what's all that on? I know some brother up there on Netflix. I gotta brother. look that up. See, this he's getting this. It's, the prophet Ezra is giving us a vision a in, in, um, to World War III, the war of Dang. Armageddon, what is popping off in this. What I'm about to read. This is Second Ezra 13. I'm gonna start at the top. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose, arose a wind Ooh. from the sea Ooh. that had moved all the ways thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven Ooh. angels. The thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. So he come up. Hey, they're going to He's just, showing up during that war over in the Middle East first. Just like that revelation said, all kindred shall well because of it. They're going to be welling out here. You know, the Lord is not playing, man. He's, yeah. not, he's not coming. And the scripture said, Matthew 10 and 34, the Lord said, Think not that I come to bring peace on earth. I come not to bring peace but a sword. The sword. You know what I'm saying? Because they say, oh, Jesus, all love and happiness. Love you. God is all love and no hate. They're they going to be, they going to find out the hard way. That's right. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they that burn, that heard his voice, like as the earth felleth when it filleth the fire. And burn. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Because like I said, World War III, all the nations yep. are going to be going at it, okay? So like I said, he shows up while this is going on. 
but I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. That's the prophet trying to explain, because that mountain, that father ship, that the giant ship is going to be so big, it's going to look like a mountain. You know, it's just going to be giant. He's just like the scripture says in Revelation that he read, every eye will see him. Yeah, you're going to, that ship every is eye. gigantic. That's how big it's going to be. Every eye. Like the second, that bullshit movie, uh, um, Independence Day, the second. They, they showed you that big ass yeah, ship. They showed you. Oh, you talking about right. the second one? The second one. The, the second one, it was like it was a trash. half the size of the earth. I ain't seen it. I it was, it it was bullshit. They, they fucked it up. But like Elvin Tahora said, though, he just said that he, he, he think that we might all get delivered on that, that one, one big ass yeah, ship. That one ship. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid. Because you ain't never seen an actual big ass chariot show up in the sky. Imagine when you do, you're going to be like, oh shit, you people, know? People going <laughs> to shit themselves. Right. But like it says, and after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet.